GES Deer and Somewhere aims to lock up all files on the infected Windows computer system and provides ransom demands via README text file. To remove it, follow this guide. To follow these instructions, you need to download and install Windows Resource Kit. You can find the download link in the description below. Ransomware removal starts with creating a safe environment for the removal process on your computer. Follow instructions to do so. First you have to boot up your computer into safe mode. Press Windows button and R on your keyboard. Enter msconfig into the pop-up window and click OK. Go to the boot tab and click on the safe boot check mark. Select network in the radio button below. Click apply, and then OK. Then click on restart to restart your PC. If everything went successfully, you should be able to see safe mode written on all the corners of your screen. Now we need to clean up any registry errors or incorrect settings that could have been modified by this ransomware virus. Copy the text that you can find in the description of this video. Paste it to Notepad, then click on File Save As. Save it anywhere where you will find it, for example, on your desktop. Name the file anything you will remember, but at the end don't forget to type .bat. On Save As type selection, select all files and press Save. Copy and paste the newly created file to C. Program Files Windows Resource Kits Tools Open command prompt by searching for the letters CMD. When the command prompt appears, right-click on it, and select Run as Administrator. Then type, CD, C, Program Files, Windows Resource Kits, Tools. To finally start it, just type, your file name, .bat, and press Enter. The process might take quite a while, but when it finishes, registry errors should be fixed. Keep in mind that even if this tool fixes registry errors, it might not remove newly added registry values by the virus. To completely remove it, it's always recommended to use powerful antivirus software. When you have completely removed this ransomware from your computer, you can try to restore your files. To do that copy the second link that you can find on the description of this video. Open it with your default browser, it will initiate the download of the data recovery application. Double click to open the installer. Press yes to allow the program to be installed. Follow the installation steps and agree with terms of service. Now, press finish to open the data recovery program. You can select to either do a quick scan, full scan, or a custom scan to restore your files. When you finish this process, your files should be restored. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our guides channel.